simply calculating 60 to 80 percent of VO2 max isn't enough to specifically find out each person's fat burn zones because VO2 max is only based on age, not counting various lifestyle factors. What's up you two? Welcome to our channel. I'm Jay from L214. Today we're going to talk about fat loss and cardio, more specifically targeting specific heart rate zones for effective fat loss during cardio. Is doing as intense cardio as you can better for burning off fat or is there another effective way? Let's find out. So we all know that we need to do cardio to shed body fat. But just because you're doing cardio as intensely as you can, or as long as you can, doesn't mean that you're effectively burning off fat. The higher the intensity is, you may be opted towards cardiovascular abilities, and we all live in a busy world. So making the most out of your time during cardio for burning off fat would be ideal for everyone. In exercise physiology, the chart you see on the screen is generally recommended for cardio heart rate zone for different fitness goals. For fat loss, the target zone should be right around here. I'll get to how to calculate your HR zone in a little later in this video, but first, let's take a look at scientific backup for this chart. A study from Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research on quantifying fat burn zones in cardio exercise stated that Maximal fat oxidation zone lies between 60.2 to 80% of one's maximal heart rate. And another study from Journal of Sports Science and Medicine stated that after examining the fat oxidation over a wide range of exercise intensities, found a maximal level of fat oxidation rate to be around 63% of VO2 max, meaning one's maximal HR. You may be wondering, how come more intense cardio or longer cardio isn't better for fat burning? That's because more intense the cardio gets, your body will use carbs in your body to supply energy, whereas in the mid intensities like 60 to 80% VO2 max, your body will prefer to break down fatty acids to supply energy. Calculating maximum HR or VO2 max is quite easy. The formula is 220 minus your age. So for example, a 25 year old person will have a maximum HR of 195 beats per minute. Unfortunately, simply calculating 60 to 80% of VO2 max isn't enough to specifically find out each person's fat burn zones because VO2 max is only based on age, not counting various lifestyle factors. This is where Carvenin formula comes in. The Carvenin formula plays an important role in establishing a link between lifestyle factors and cardiovascular events designed specifically to formulate HR zone for aerobic activities. For Carvenin formula, you'll need to get one more heart rate variable, your resting heart rate. Resting HR should be measured when you're not doing anything at all, like when you're lying down or right before you fall asleep. Once you have your resting HR, you can then calculate your optimal fat burn HR zone using Carvenin formula, which goes like this. Subtract your maximum HR with your resting HR, then you get your heart rate reserve or HRR. You then multiply your target HR zone to HRR and then add your resting HR again. The value you get here is your target HR. Please note that everyone's maximum HR may be fixed, but resting HR may differ based on lifestyle choices such as staying physically active, being sedentary, smoking, or other cardiovascular conditions. Let's take Max, who is 25 years old and has a resting HR of 65. To calculate Max's fat burn HR zone using Carvenin formula, 220 minus 25, which equals to VO2 max of 195, and minus 65 resting HR, which gives us 130 HRR. For 60% HR zone, it would be 130 times 0.6, which is 78, and adding resting HR comes out to 143 BPM. For 80% HR zone, calculation comes out to 169. So if Max does some type of exercise or cardio that yields anywhere between 143 to 169 BPM, he is at maximum efficiency in fat oxidation. As you can see, you can either calculate both ends of the zones and try to stay in between, or as I usually tell my clients, Calculate your 70% HR and aim to stay at near 70%. For those who have been lifting weights or have been doing physical activities, because your cardiovascular conditioning is already fit, your cardio intensity may have to be 
increased to reach 70% zone, as it will take that much more physical exertion for you to reach 70% HR zone than sedentary people. Whereas if you were sedentary and not active at all, even a simple mild cardio will get you in 70% zone. So it depends on where your conditioning and physical level are at. And this goes without saying, today's video is about low intensity, steady state cardio type, not high interval cardios. I've made a video about the two types in the past. Here's the link if you haven't watched it. I hope that you can get more bang for your buck for the time you spend doing cardio to lose body fat. Well, that's a wrap for today, guys. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. And always make gains. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.